Let's talk about creating some animated captions using Premiere Pro and After Effects. So we are going to use Premiere Pro to generate the captions from the audio clip or video clip. Then we use After Effects to animate the captions. Again, we are going to use some custom scripts to animate the captions in After Effects. Custom scripts really help us achieve some specific tasks within our projects in After Effects or even Premiere Pro if you know how to write some scripts. Let's get the video started by generating the captions in Premiere Pro. And to create the captions, you just move into the text panel. And under the text panel, we have the transcript, the captions, and the graphics. So under the transcript layer here, I already have the transcript set up. To do that, it's very easy when you click on this transcript. You just have the transcribe button here, and you click, and it automatically transcribes the video that you're working with, or the audio clip. So after doing that, you have to edit the words, because not all words will match to what you're saying. You have to like edit it, because Premiere Pro won't uh, pick up each word that you're saying. You only have everything set up, and you're ready to create the captions you click on the cc button which stands for create captions and then you give it a custom setup as for me i prefer using 20 here for the maximum length of characters and then for the duration of seconds i have set it to two the gap is easy fit at zero and then for the sync for the lines i will set it at single because i don't want double lines i just want single lines in my captions hit on create and premiere pro will automatically create the captions for you under the captions panel or under this caption section, we have the captions here and the time beside. Then here we have the caption, which by default is placed under the video. So what we want to do now is to export this caption as an SRT file so we can import it in After Effects and animate it. So to export the caption as an SRT file and click on export to SRT file. Select the location which I'll just choose my desktop. Then you give the name of the file and hit save. We are done generating and exporting the captions in Premiere Pro. The next thing to do is to import the exported SRT file in After Effects. But After Effects does not give us the opportunity to use an SRT file to use an SRT file directly or import it. But we have a solution for that. I'll be using a script called Transcriptive SRT Importer. And I'll use it to import the SRT file in After Effects. I'll leave a link below to download the SRT Importer in After Effects. So here in After Effects, I already have the composition set up. But the script I'll be using will automatically create another composition for me. To run the script, you come to File, then move down to Scripts, and then Run Script File. Then you select the script that you want to run. So it will ask me to select the SRT file, which I'll click on Select SRT and Create Captions. Then I select the SRT file which I exported from Premiere Pro and I can close it now. So this is the SRT file that has been imported in After Effects. So I'm just going to change some few things then I get back to you. So I just changed the, the, the color of the captions and the background to black and white. One thing you can notice is that each caption is separated by some markers and we are going to use these markers to our own advantage because there is a keyboard shortcut called Shift Command Z that if I use it, it will cut each marker. It will cut it will separate the caption to its own separate layer and that's very advantageous for us. Say for example, let me demonstrate it here, starting with the first caption. And the first caption is seen and there and I want it on a separate layer so it will ease the animation process. So if I press Shift Command Z, it brings the layer down and the remaining layers are up. I'll take advantage of that to cut each caption to its own separate layer for, ease, for easy animation. So for the sake of this video, I won't cut the whole, the entire layer. I just cut it. I just cut out some few captions. One thing you will notice is that right here we have the start of the marker and the end of the marker, and then the layer does not fit in between these. We have to adjust it so that each layer fits into the marker. And the first thing we're going to do is to drag the end of the layer to end where the marker ends. But again, I have some other script that will ease the workflow. That is, the script will cut out this extra part that we don't need. So everything to the left of the marker or the starting of the marker will be cut out to make it start at the perfect start of the marker, which will ease the adding of our keyframes because we are going to use another script to add the, to add the keyframes. So to do that, I'll go again to File, then Scripts, and Run Script File. So here we have the cut layers, which is a custom script that I'm using. And 
because the everything everything here has been cut out and it's fit to the beginning of the of the layer so i'm just going to reposition this again so everything fits within the marker When we are done setting up the layers, the next thing is to add the keyframes to the animation. In this video, I'll be using just a scale property and I'll show you how to do that using scripts. I have a custom script for the scale property. I'll select the layer, go to file, scripts, then run script file. Then I select the scale.jsx and it has automatically added the keyframes. So if I press you here, you'll see the keyframes that has been added. So if I play this, you see how it animates in and out. This can come in very handy when you have multiple layers that you know you have a specific, when you know you have a standard skill or uh, animation keyframes that you want to add. You can use the script to add that efficiently, faster, you can, to add it efficiently and faster. That's how you can create some animated captions in Premiere Pro. So you can go further by creating some complex animations on each layer because they are text layers. I know and After Effects has so many um, has so many animations for text layers. So you can add it to your text layer one after the other, and you have some better captions for your videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today in this video. Subscribe so you won't miss the next one, and hit the thumbs up button to support the channel grow. And as always, happy editing.